For years now I've toyed with going away for the Christmas and New Year period and this year finally doing it. We're going to the Lake District and we're going to head for the hills. After meeting up at Castle Rig Stone Cycles, we came to this location in Buttermere. We spent two nights here. It was really quiet, but the farmer had a lot on, so he was driving up and down the road most of the night. The next morning, we had some breakfast, and we hit the road. It's a little bit rainy and a little bit drizzly today. The weather's really not in our favour, but we will go. But have a look at the surroundings here. We're leaving here today, we're going to another spot later. Brilliant here last night, lovely and quiet. Nobody on this road whatsoever. And when um, when we got here, it was just really quiet. Weather could be better, but that's the way it is, I suppose. A bit cold, but great. We stayed here a couple of nights, but then soon enough, it was time to move on. Strafty up here. We've just got to the top. We're on um, day six now, and uh, we've done a bit of climbing. We've come to Rhinos. It's really cloudy. The views are still really good, but it's really cloudy. Hopefully, it might clear later, but I'll show you around.
We're going to stay somewhere around here the night. I think, not here, but obviously on the road. We've got a little litter by down there, which should be good for the night. Epic place, absolutely brilliant place. Love the Cumbria. Really has been a, it's been a different Christmas this one, but still. Yeah, stunning place. If you haven't been here, you should come here. Although wide vehicles, I would watch it if you've got a wide vehicle. Some of the, um, where the road goes in, it's just a bit narrow. You can nearly hit the walls on the side and that. But it's a good tester before I go to Scotland. Whew, just climbed up a mountain. I'm in disguise. <laughs> oh, look at it. Can't see anything now. I know. Coming in. <laughs> we'll end up down on the wrong side of the mountain. Yeah. The be about 15 miles away from the vans. Yeah, on then. That wouldn't be the first or the last. The peak we'd climbed was becoming engulfed in fog. So we decided to make our way down. So we carried on across the pass and we'd had no real issues until right about now. In the end, Mark had to leave his van at the bottom. It's a lot steeper than it looks, that hill, and his tyres just couldn't get a grip on the greasy road. So he jumped into the car in front of me, and we made our way to the summit.
I got some great footage from the top of this mountain, but sadly when I got home I'd realised I'd forgotten to press record. It happens. So last night we stayed at um, a campsite last night, this one, uh, Castle Rig Farm. I've got to be honest, it's got the best toilets I've ever seen in a campsite. So there's fans all over the place, so we, we ended up on a campsite. It was a good one. We spent our last two nights at Castle Rig Farm. It was a beautiful campsite, really welcoming and not so expensive. The toilets were fantastic. And if you ever get a time to stay there in winter and your van's a bit cold or your tent, just go and have a kip in the toilets. Got under floor eating and it was lovely to use. Anyway, that was it for us. We packed up, we set off home. So take care and I'll see you on the next one.